This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. For the rest of this week, um, we'll be playing as part of these daily updates a conversation that I had with Laurie Stratman, the Vice President of our congregation and the Chair of our Task Force for Dismantling White Supremacy. That task force has taken the lead on a, a big priority for us this year which is having a conversation within our congregation uh, about racial justice and, and how it affects our lives and, and our place in the world. It was a wide-ranging conversation, um, so with that, I'll, I'll turn it over to Lori. What is the, the final uh, name of the task force and your role in it? Sure. So the task force name is officially Task Force for Dismantling White Supremacy. Okay. And I'm currently the chair. Okay. Uh, the, the plan is that someone else will take over the chair position when I step up as, as Board of Trustees president. Sure. Because you're currently the vice president of the Board of Trustees as well. Right, right. All right. Um, and do you want to say a little about how that how that work got started at the church and, and where we got from even a year ago to here? Sure, absolutely. So um, it actually goes back a couple years. Um, Emily Chattel had had uh, brought forward uh, a discussion about the eighth principle. And um, we didn't gain as much traction as, as uh, she wanted to see. And so about a year ago, not quite a year ago, um, she, we re-engaged with that uh, discussion again. And um, through a conversation with the board, the board determined that having a, a task force to start um, working towards a, a larger conversation about the eighth principle uh, within our congregation would be a good idea. So uh, a few of us met. Uh, I believe it was uh, uh, Emily and myself and, and Dan Pizant, and, and uh, we invited in uh, uh, B.J. Wheeler and, and Christina Davis and um, uh, also uh, brought in Mary Kay Stillwell and uh, uh, Marissa uh, Raymond joined us a little bit later. Um, um, but we, we formed this task force um, based on um, a few directives um, from the board and, and from ourselves, quite frankly, um, that we would, um, through those directives, help educate the congregation in terms of anti-racism work. Mm -hmm. And so that we could have a more meaningful conversation about the eighth principle and um, determine if we're going to adopt the eighth principle as a church, that we are actually doing what the eighth principle is about. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the eighth principle is a, is a proposal to add uh, another, another principle to the seven uh, in, our, in our bylaws that would yes. state, we the member congregations of the Unitarian Universalist Association covenant to affirm and promote journeying towards spiritual wholeness by working to build a diverse, multicultural, beloved community by our actions that accountably dismantle racism and other oppressions in ourselves and our institutions. Mm -hmm. It's that action piece that um, we wanted to make sure that we were living up to. Mm -hmm. um, because to adopt the principle without that action piece is a pointless gesture. Right, right. So what, what drew you to this particular project? 
a lot of different things you can get involved in in a church. So that's like, true. So. That's true. Um, but uh, I think what drew me was I have this sort of feeling inside that all is not right with the world. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it truly hurts me to see um, Black, Indigenous, people of color being harmed. Um, you know, the, the, the things that happened at Standing Rock, the, the things that are happening, happening at the border with children being caged um, because their parents are seeking um, refuge. Um, you know, the, those are the, those are big, big things that are very um, visually impactive, right? But there's also these little things when I, when I see my brown sisters and brothers that are being treated differently and not in a good way mm -hmm. from how I'm being treated and, and my sense of fairness um, just is, it, it makes me hurt. Mm -hmm. for the for these people that that they're being treated this way simply because of how they look mm -hmm. and it's just not right 